G'day and welcome to today's Bottom Up Boats Soft Shackle demonstration where we show you how to create multiple soft shackles, securing them in different ways, all in less than 10 seconds. All three of today's shackles use a little over a metre of rope to create our loops which we then turn into a shackle with a circumference of approximately 25 centimetres. The first shackle is made by simply creating an overhand loop knot with the loop taking up 95% of the rope width only leaving a small tail. Simply tighten the knot and then put the loop over the end to secure your shackle. If you'd like a more detailed explanation to tie any of the knots you see in today's video, keep an eye out for the cards up in the top right hand corner to get full video versions of the knots. I'm sure many of you are thinking that you love the simplicity of this shackle, but it's not a very secure way to finish it off with just one loop over the stopper knot. And you'd be right. Luckily, there is a really simple trick to create a much more secure finish to your shackle. Take the bite end of your soft shackle and then pass it through itself like so. You then want to take the bite again and this time put it over the top of your stopper knot to create the locking finish. Then simply pull the shackle tight and you have a much more secure finish to your soft shackle. The second version of this simple soft shackle that we're going to show today is similar to the first. This time, however, we're going to tie it with the double overhand knot. This is a great knot to tie if your rope is of a thinner diameter and you're worried about the size of your stopper knot at the end of the soft shackle. Once again, we're going to finish it off with the simple method, you can see there it's a slightly bigger stopper, putting it over the top, which makes even this simple way of securing it uh, safer because of the size of the knot. The third and even more secure way to finish your soft shackles is by creating a loop knot in the end of your soft shackle, which tightens up against your stopper knot. To create this knot, you just need to create a simple loop and then pull a bite through the loop to tighten it up and create a noose. Pull the knot tight and then you'll see that the one of the lines can be adjusted up and down to create a big enough loop to put over the top of your stopper knot then pulling it tight on itself to create a semi-permanent finish to your stopper knot. The only downside of this knot is that the extra knots that you put to create the loop will reduce the overall breaking strain of the soft shackle. To undo the soft shackle, that's just a simple case of loosening your noose and then just pulling both ends of the shackle to untie the knot. The third and final variation of these simple knot based soft shackles is created utilizing the Ashley stopper knot. This knot creates a fantastically large stopper and it has the added advantage that it creates a really square finishing point for the bite end of the soft shackle to butt up against. You'll see here that the Ashley stopper knot utilizes three loops around the main lines to create that square finished, which enhances the breaking strain of your soft shackle where the bite end is joined to secure the shackle. 
to finish off today's soft shackle demonstration, we're going to show you the fourth and final way to secure your soft shackle. To do this one, we're going to create a lark's head in the end of the soft shackle. You then open up the lark's head wide enough to put your stopper knot through before tightening it on itself. This method is preferred over the loop method that we showed you in securing option number three because the lark's head has less impact on the braking strain of the line while creating a semi-permanent finish to your soft shackles. We hope you enjoyed today's splicing free soft shackle demonstration. If you learned something along the way, don't forget to leave us a like and why not subscribe to Bottom Up Boats to ensure you get all of the latest content as soon as it's released.